financial markets. To some, they suck because of the... Oh wait, I said this before, in a previous video titled Types of Financial Markets Part 1, which you can click in the annotation or link below. Anyway, financial markets are markets in which people trade financial securities and derivatives at low transaction costs or structures through which funds flow where they contain financial instruments or securities which are assets that can be traded. Corporations would use these markets to raise funds by issuing new securities in primary markets and then traded in secondary markets. And this sets up the next three market types that we'll be exploring. First up is capital markets. Capital markets are markets that trade debt and equity instruments with maturities of more than one year. This is a little similar to money markets from part one except their maturities are short term, lasting one year or less, and don't trade equity. Now in these capital markets, usually corporations and governments issue securities and usually households provide funds in return. Due to the long term nature of the securities being traded, capital market securities have higher price fluctuations than money market securities. For instance, long term securities have greater price fluctuations in interest rates than short term securities. Regardless, the market value of capital market instruments depends on the number of securities and their market prices. Just like money markets, multiple categories of securities move throughout capital markets. These debt and equity securities are the following. Corporate stock. This is a fundamental ownership claim in a public corporation. Mortgages. Pretty basic, but these are loans for people to buy homes, land or other real properties. Bank and consumer loans. Self-explanatory, but they are loans to commercial banks and individuals. Another subset of capital market securities is called bonds, which is similar to loans. Corporate bonds. Long-term bonds issued by corporations in order to raise capital. In buying these bonds, investors would virtually be loaning money in exchange for receiving interest payments over time. Government bonds. These are long-term bonds issued by governments to pay for spending commitments. And once again, investors who buy these bonds are rewarded with interest. In the US, there are three types of government bonds. Treasury bonds. Long-term bonds issued by the US government. State and local government bonds. More self-explanation, but are long-term bonds issued by state and local governments. And finally, US government agency bonds. There are long-term bonds collateralized by a pool of assets and issued by US government agencies. Foreign exchange markets. Markets in which cash flows from the sale of products or assets denominated in a foreign currency are transacted. These link to the exchange rates of various countries which can significantly affect the profitability of international firms. For example, if a foreign currency like the euro falls in value relative to the US dollar, then an American firm making an investment in that currency will be hit hard. A strengthening dollar has the same effect for the American firm. On the other hand, if the foreign currency appreciates relative to the dollar, then this benefits the American firm. Due to this, participating in foreign exchange markets exposes firms to foreign exchange risk. Derivative markets. These are markets in which derivative securities are traded. But what are derivative securities? They are an agreement between two parties to exchange a standard quantity of an asset at a predetermined price on a specified day in the future. To put it simply, it is a security whose value depends upon the value of another asset. The value of this convertible bond depends upon the value of the underlying stock, and thus it is a derivative security. So if the underlying security changes, then the value of the derivative security changes as well. Derivative securities include futures contracts, option contracts, swap contracts, or mortgage-backed securities. I might go through these derivatives at some point in the future. But derivatives can be risky, such as the 2008 recession being associated with huge losses in mortgage-backed derivatives. Oh yeah, that's why people hate financial markets. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give a like and comment as it really helps my video in the YouTube algorithm. And if you like economics and political commentary, consider subscribing. Maybe follow me on my Twitter and see you later.